Hey, hi everybody. I'm Dave from the Family Farmer, and I want to be your host today. I just was uh, picking out some picking some cherries off our cherry tree, and uh, take a look at them. Yes, they're just starting to ripen. Boy, are these nice cherries too. There's a lot of them that ain't, that are out there that ain't ripe. But let me tell you. I'm going to be on them cherries every single day now. But uh, here, let me put these away over here. Get them out of our way. Put, strap up my belt there a little bit. Hey, anyways, what I got for you today is really good. We're going to make a nice, easy, basic barbecue sauce. Because this weekend, is your weekend to barbecue outside. And I'm going to show you a nice, easy recipe. Okay, let's get going. All right, first of all, we're going to add in a can of tomato sauce. Okay, yeah. I buy Hunt's because it's on sale all the time. So, and of course, and again, it's, it says 100% natural. So, but... Okay. Then we're going to add in some A1 steak sauce. You can add whatever kind you got, but all this stuff you're going to find right in your home. Or you could have it right in your kitchen. And what you want to do is just dump some in there. Never want, you know. Oh, we're going to add a little another dab in there. That should do it. Okay. And then. We're going to add in a cup of brown sugar. Okay, now I use the dark brown sugar because I think it has a lot more flavor, but the regular brown sugar you can just use. But I, I just like using the, the dark brown. We're just going to plop that in there. And then, of course, about a third cup of honey. You know, it doesn't matter what kind. And we're just going to pour that right in there. This makes an excellent all-around barbecue sauce. Now, if you want some more zing to it, your barbecue sauce, you could add in uh, some cayenne pepper, some minced fresh green, you know, jalapenos or scorpions or whatever you want. That also works. Then, of course, I'm going to put in a little bit of pepper. You know, just for taste. And a little bit of salt. And I'll put another dab in here. And then we're going to whisk that all up here. People, if you want to, you can heat this heat this up before you put it out on the, you know, whatever you got on the grill. But, uh, you don't have to. That's what makes it so simple. You don't have to heat it up or anything. It's going to heat up right on the grill. See, look at all nice and colored that, that changing, that changing color. Yeah. Because all these flavors sitting in here, just cool, is going to all blend together, believe it or not. Yeah. Like I said, you want a little bit of zing to it, hey, just add some, uh, you know, red uh, apple cider vinegar, some uh, wine vinegar, any type of vinegar if you want that little bit of zing. Okay. But, uh, this is going to be excellent. You know, chicken, steaks, whatever. Yeah, look at that. See now, look at them getting that nice, rich, barbecued looking flavor. Alrighty then. And there we go. People, we're all done. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and it can sit there until I'm ready to barbecue. Alright? Hey, you all take care. Bye bye then.